At the moment, the Voyager 1 spacecraft is on a dangerous and strange trip through deep space. It and its sister project, Voyager 2, have both left the solar system and are now in the space between the stars. This makes them the man-made things that are the farthest away from Earth. About 14.6 billion miles separate Voyager 2 from the Earth. When people are so far apart, anything can go wrong. Add to that the fact that these are old ships since the Voyagers have been in use since the 1970s. So when Voyager 1 started sending home strange garbled nonsense instead of telemetry data in May of this year, NASA engineers couldn't have been blamed for calling it a day and having a drink to celebrate what may have been the most successful space mission in human history. This is not how the NASA method works though. Instead, they started working on a way for the record-setting spaceship to be diagnosed and fixed that could be done from afar. After about four months, they've reached their goal. Voyager 1 has been brought back online and is talking regularly with ground control, so it looks like nothing happened. In reality, the problem was easy to solve, or at least as easy as anything could be given there was a 22-hour delay in communication both ways and billions of miles of space in between. What happened to Voyager is still a mystery. The spaceship was 45 years old and was currently traveling through interstellar space. It looked like it was doing amazingly well and was sending a lot of info back to Earth. But in the middle of May, the Attitude Articulation and Control System, or AACS, which was on Voyager 1 and was in charge of keeping its high-gain antenna pointed at Earth, started sending jumbled data to Earth instead of the regular reports on the health and status of the spacecraft. From where we were standing, it looked like the spacecraft had something like an electronic version of aphasia, a disease that makes it hard to speak in a normal way. NASA said at the time, the data looks like it was made at random and doesn't match any possible state the AACS could be in. Even stranger for the engineers was the fact that Voyager 1 seemed to be in great shape, even though it was sending them strange reports about its state. The antenna was still pointed at Earth because the radio signal from the ship was still strong and steady. In the accounts, the AACS said the antenna was set up in a certain way and was talking to NASA. In the same way, Voyager 1's science systems kept collecting and sending data as usual, even though the AACS was being influenced by the same strange thing. No matter what was wrong with the AACS, it did not set off the system that's meant to put the safe craft into safe mode when something goes wrong. Engineers from NASA were able to figure out what was wrong, and now that they knew what was wrong, they could start fixing it. The problem was solved when it was found that the AACS had started sending its tracking data through an onboard computer that hadn't worked in years. All of the info that was being sent out was messed up because that computer had died. Engineers from NASA just had to give the AACS a signal and it would use the right computer to send its data back to Earth. But there's still a problem. The next problem will be figuring out why the AACS chose to switch computers in the first place. NASA says that one of the other computers on board most likely sent a wrong order to the system. Even though they say it's not a big deal for Voyager 1's health right now, the real cause will need to be found and fixed to stop strange things from happening in the future. Voyager 1 is more than 14.6 billion miles or 23.4 billion kilometers from Earth right now and most of the time it keeps getting farther away. The Voyager 1 probe's been moving through interstellar space, far away from the sun's magnetic field, for the past 10 years. The field had helped protect the ship from cosmic rays and other types of radiation from the interstellar medium. It did this in a way similar to how Earth's magnetic shield helps protect it from high-energy particles and radiation from the sun. When one of these fast, energetic particles hits a computer chip, it can cause small mistakes in the memory that can add up over time. Since cosmic rays can mess up technology here on Earth, it makes sense to think this would also be a problem for Voyager 1's computers. In a statement from May 2022, Voyager 1 and 2 project manager Suzanne Dodd said, A mystery like this is kind of par for the course at this point in the Voyager mission. Both spacecraft are getting close to their 45th birthdays, which is a lot older than mission planners had thought. Also, we're now in interstellar space, which is a place where there's so much radiation that no ship has ever been. We can't make any choices until we know what new dangers Voyager will face and what new things it will find on its journeys. Anyway, NASA lost contact with the Voyager 2 probe not too long ago. NASA said that it's now in full contact with the Voyager 2 ship, which it lost track of. This happened several months earlier than expected. The Exploration spacecraft was sent into space in 1977. In July, it got the wrong order, which made it change its position and stop communicating. 
A signal was picked up, but because of an interstellar shout, a strong order, the antenna is now pointing back toward Earth. NASA first thought the spaceship would be able to reset itself in October. Since Voyager 2 is billions of miles away from Earth, it took the mission controllers 37 hours to figure out if the interstellar order had worked or not. Suzanne Dodd, the project manager for the Voyager program, told AFP that the staff had used the highest power transmitter to send a message to the spaceship and timed it to arrive at the best condition so the antenna would line up with the order. Due to the loss of communication, NASA's Deep Space Network, which is made up of big radio antennas all over the world, couldn't give commands to or get information from the probe. On the other hand, on August 4th, the space agency said it had confirmed the data from the spacecraft had been received and that it was working properly. NASA thinks that the spacecraft, which is full of scientific equipment, will keep going in the direction that's been planned for it. On Monday, the space agency said that its big dish in Canberra, Australia, was trying to pick up any stray signals from the Voyager 2 ship. At this time, the first weak sound that could be called a heartbeat was picked up. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, which is in charge of the Voyager projects, says the antenna has been sending the right order to the area around Voyager 2 in an attempt to communicate with it in some way. So the antenna on the probe is always pointed to Earth, the probe's position is set to change automatically many times each year. The next reset is set to happen on October 15th. This was the day that NASA planned to put all of its hopes on if all of the other tries had failed. Voyager 2 and its twin, Voyager 1, are the only spacecraft that have ever been able to work outside of the heliosphere. The heliosphere is a bubble of particles and magnetic fields made by the sun that protects the spacecraft. When they went into interstellar space in 2018 and 2012, they did this. So that scientists could study Jupiter and Saturn, the probes were made so that they could take advantage of a unique arrangement of the outer planets that happens once every 176 years. Voyager 1 is currently about 15 billion miles from Earth, making it humanity's most distant spacecraft. However, Voyager 2 is the only spacecraft that has ever flown by Neptune and Uranus. Once both ships run out of power, which is expected to happen sometime after the year 2025, they'll continue to drift around in space. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more.